change the cylinder, the first thing we do is take the yarn guide off, flip it up, lay it over here, lay it down. The second thing you need to do is push down on the down V cam and spin the brass nut off. Set it over here on the cloth. Lift the V cam up. Set it over here on the cloth. Take the spring off. Set it over here on the cloth. Screws out of the bottom of the base that hold the cylinder to the base. Loosen those up. Then you can take your hand and screw the, the 10 uh, 24 screws out, which you can buy at a hardware store if you run out of them, which make it real easy to deal with. Lay them over here on your cloth. Then lift your cylinder and turn it as you lift it. And it'll come right on out of there. You'll drop a couple needles, generally. You can pick them up. And then that opens up the cam shell. You can take the cam shell off and clean it. Hot soapy water, solvent, WD-40, whatever you want to do is fine. You can't hurt it. And lay it over here on the cloth. Then you can take your gear ring out and clean it, and then you can clean your base. Normally you can do it pretty good with just a rag. You can clean this gear base up with a rag here real easy. How often would you recommend users clean their machines? I think you need to clean them every 15 hours of running, especially when they're new, till the needles all get set in and the needle runways get glazed up in the cylinder to eliminate the aluminum oxide on your socks. But uh, outside of that, about every 15, 20 hours, and you can run your gear and see if it's all secure and tight and you know they are. Then to reassemble after you've cleaned them up, you just set them right back down on the gear ring. Make sure the gear is engaged. Put a little oil on them a regular all that we supply with you and all that up real nicely and you need to turn that and make sure that all gets down on the uh, runway lands that it, it goes around on and then you can after you've cleaned the cam shell you can set the cam shell right down on it the post goes right on top of the yarn mask bracket then everything's in time then you want to see if it's free and you can rotate it both ways and make sure you've got good lubrication there then set the post right straight out from you and you can take your cylinder and set your cylinder right back down on it and the river post goes to the back. And then take your 1032 screws and find your holes in the bottom and rock them till they go up in there. And they'll thread right in there with no problem on both sides. Screw them up as far as you can screw them with your hand. Take your screwdriver and snug one up. Not tight, just snug it up. Go to the other side, snug it up, then tighten that one. Go back over. And tighten your other one. And then rotate it. Make sure it's free. 
both ways and they normally go right back on there. Then put your yarn post straight into you. You can put the spring on. You can set your V-cam on next. And then to push the needles down, then push the V-cam down and put your little brass nut on there and screw that down to where you like to have it and you're you got to go one way and then the other way we got that running backwards there We got it running backwards and then we just lift the needles up and go around to where it quits clicking and then come the other way, drop the needles back in and make sure the needles are free and run smooth and normally they are. And we drop one needle here and we're going to find out like that and put your little needle in and you're there and you're ready to knit. Carry on. And it, sh it shows in the manual where to set the yarn carrier and tighten the screw and you're ready to go.